CataractCoach.com, a really tough case for a resident, 94-year-old patient, 20-millimeter axial length, 2-millimeter shallow AC, dense cataract, hand motion vision. Yikes. This is about case number 200 for this young doctor in training. And you can see tripan blue dyes going in. With that small of an eye, though, keep in mind, that's not a 5-millimeter or 6-millimeter dilation. That's like a 4-millimeter dilation. Because look at that 2.2-millimeter keratome. It's pretty big compared to that dilation. That's probably a 4, at best, 4.5-millimeter dilation. So a little bit of viscosity going in here. You're probably going to want to put in some iris hooks. Or There we go. A pupil expansion device, a Melugan ring. Uh, by the way, your, your Callisto overlay there for the screen is driving me bananas, but thank you. And we'll put that inside the eye. Now, here's where you want to use two hands, my friend. Two hands is helpful. As you inject with the right hand, your left hand could have been in the side port entering there and then helping guide the scrolls to get them in place. There you go. Now you've got about a five to a half millimeter opening there. Let's get the rexes done. Tripan blue dye, thank goodness, was used. Oh, I like these micro forceps. Those are fancy. Those look good. Getting a nice rexus here. Again, you want to be cautious. Don't make a baby rexus here. Remember, this is a small eye. It's going to look like a huge rexus, but it'll be fine. And wow, that's really a nice dense cataract. What about hydrodissection? Hello? Hello? Okay, groove down the middle. Hydrodissection would have made life a lot easier. Also, draping the lashes would have made life a lot better, too. See those lashes in the field? Yeah. How do you spell endophthalmitis? How do you spell staph and strep? That's where it's coming from, right there. Yes, you did forget to hydrate a sec. You can still do it now. That's not a bad idea. I like that. That's a good move, but be cautious. Oh, boy, cautious, cautious. Looks like that was just some cortical material that came out, not prolapsing the nucleus. You know, Zion support can be very weak. We have a whole series on nonagenarians, nonagenarian meaning patients who are 90 years plus. The tissues are not the same. So you should watch that. Go to cataractcoach.com, search for the, for the word nonagenarian, and you'll see that. So it looks like a divide and conquer technique here. Again, get that eye back in primary, young resident. Get that eye in primary. Oof. Okay, bringing it up. Oh, that's a clear red reflex. I like your chop. But I just wonder about that red, red reflex looked awfully clear to me. And again, we're not really keeping the eye primary. Look where the Purkinje images are. See how the eye is being infraducted here? How it's disappearing under the lid margin, the inferior lid margin. You really got to do a better job here. Now, obviously, the video sped up. Don't worry about that. We're not talking about speed here. I want to just know about what you're doing. And I can't sit here and watch a 30-minute video. So chopping this up, good job. You definitely got good hands. So I'll give you this. This is a very tough case. This resident's only done 200 surgeries so far. And for 200 cases in, you did a fantastic job. So keep up the good work. But let me give you constructive criticism. So first thing I got to tell you is you got to do a much better job at draping. This is just not acceptable. And then second is you certainly have to keep the eye in primary. That's a smart move, by the way, right here. Injecting the viscoelastic before you come out with the probe. Smart, smart, smart. Good move, good move. So I think you've got a very good head. See, now that's in primary. Look at the eye now. The eye is in primary. Iris parallel to the floor. Purkinje just sent it up. It looks good. I would have made a little bit bigger rexus too. I think you did a good job with the rexus. I think it would have been easier with a bigger rexus. Divide and conquer worked pretty reasonable here. I think you could have just done a, a stop and chop with a double wide groove. That would have worked beautifully. And then depending on your lens powers, you may want to enlarge the incision here. So remember, if you have a very large lens power... 28 diopters or more, you may have to have a bigger cartridge. What's going on there? You're circling something. That's not my circle. Uh, a little squirt. Hard to tell what's going on there. Okay, I don't know. And now uh, putting the lens in, here it comes. Looks like a three-piece lens. And then second hand helps here because that injector you're using, I know what it is. It's a Bauchdom LS61AO with a soft port injector. I know. You should, that's a one-handed injector. The right hand is doing it. The left hand has to do some work. The left hand should be holding a chopper right now. Or Sinsky, you're helping dial that lens in, getting it in the bag. That, you should have, that, come on. There's no excuse on that. You got to be able to use both hands. My homework assignment for you, young doctor. I think you are doing great. I'm impressed that you sent the video in because you have a deep desire to learn. You are not allowed to eat any food or brush your teeth or do anything else with your right hand for one year. 
everything only left hand. Because it seems like you just keep wanting to use the right hand and you stop, you don't embrace the idea of a two-handed surgery. Because your left hand is, should be doing work at a lot of different points where it's not. So yeah, only eating and brushing teeth left-handed only for one year. You will thank me later. And if you're a newbie resident, if you're a young, first, second, third year resident watching this, uh, do the same thing. If you brush your teeth with your non-dominant hand and it feels funny, uh, you need to work. You got to work on that. End of the case here, taking out that metal you can ring, bring that out nice and slowly. You may have an easier time just using the injector to suck it back in. Take out the viscoelastic, close it up. I bet you this patient was thrilled. You did a great job. Keep up the good work and use that left hand.